It's been another great year for entertainment in 2012. We are going to talk about our favorites on the show as well as what we're looking forward to in 2013, plus more right here on Camp Food and Friends. Stay with us. Hello and welcome to the very first video podcast episode of Cam Fu and Friends. I'm your host, Cam Fu. Thank you for joining us. Now, joining me at the desk is Sarah, Andrew, and Brad, my good friends. Thank you for coming on the first video podcast episode. We are recording live from beautiful Redmond, Washington, but it's not so beautiful here today. It's actually rainy and, and like mid 40s and cloudy. It's actually terrible. So I lied to you already. <laughs> but uh, we got a great show coming up for you. And let's get into it. Our discussion topic today was introduced to me by my good friend Christy Gutierrez from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. And she said on Facebook, I like when you all discuss what you have enjoyed seeing and what you look forward to. Once again, that was through Facebook. So we are going to talk about that. We are going to specifically talk about what we are looking forward to in the year 2013, but then we are also going to be talking about what our most favorite things were in 2012. So let's dive right into it. As always on Camp Food and Friends, we do ladies first. So Andrew, please start us off. Yes, thank, thank you so much. You know I just, I no, stop, stop, it, no, sorry. Sarah, please kick us off. What was your favorite thing from okay. 2012? So my favorite movie from 2012 was Cabin in the Woods. All right. um, when I first heard about this movie, I thought you know, it would come out right around the Hunger Games and it was in April, and I thought, oh my gosh, it's another, it's just a spinoff of The Hunger Games. It's, you know, from the trailer, you could see it's a group of kids, there's some kind of control going on, and it's some kind of slasher horror movie. So I didn't give it a second thought until friends and family and coworkers started going, oh my gosh, have you seen this movie? And uh, so it piqued my interest, and I went and saw it, and I absolutely loved it. It gets everything right. It's creepy, it's witty, it makes references to old horror movies. Um, it kind of just encompassed everything I look for in a movie. I, when I left it, I went, you know, Lionsgate went, what does Sarah look for in a movie? And then they made this movie for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Cabin in the Woods was my pick for 2012. That's a great pick. And that is going to be one of my top five favorite films of the year as well. I loved it. Yeah. It's not my favorite, so you'll hear that about that later. But, uh, no, great film. And I think, did you guys see it too, Andrew and Brad? Yeah. Definitely. I thought it, it did a good job also of including probably every major cliche intentionally mm -hmm. um, in a very clever way that definitely it, it led the viewer to to buy into the usual um, just mind frame of a horror film. Right. Right. And every, you know, every, every template and cliche that had been used before had, you know, was neatly packaged around it. And then boom, at the end, it was a great payoff. So, yeah. And that was one of the great things about it, is that it did that purposefully. Yeah, totally. So you see those cliches happening, and it's almost like an obvious reference to those. Yeah. So you're like, yeah. oh, gosh, I totally get that. You yeah. know, like, oh, it's the five kids in the woods and yeah. the great references to Evil Dead and stuff. It yeah, just, no. It was it's one of those fun well movies where if I see a movie that I really like, I'm inspired to go learn more about the movie. Yeah. And this was that movie for me this year, where as soon as it was over, I went online and I read yeah. all about it, and I found out a bunch of interesting facts about it. It's cool. just one of those movies that really got me excited. Right. Andrew, yeah. what did you think of it? I couldn't figure out why, if Thor's there, why he couldn't just take them all down. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little confused. I don't know. But no, it was good. Find someone movie. else. I yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. Good twists. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, the ending was great. Yep. Totally original. I did not see that coming at all. Yeah. I walked out of that movie going, whoa. Even with our already <laughs> built up anticipation that there was some kind of like major, you know, weird twist ending, it still was like totally like, whoa. Yeah. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. All right. So thank you. So moving on to Andrew, what was your favorite thing from 2012? It's a little different. I, it wasn't a movie. Um, early in the year, there was a big announcement that. Uh, Two of the biggest rock icons would be touring together. We're talking about uh, Motley Crue and Kiss. <laughs> now, every, people may scoff. They may scoff. Younger people may scoff. But I'm telling you, this was a fantastic, fantastic show. Uh, I took some friends that hadn't seen Kiss before, yeah. and um, they weren't believers. Yeah, chaperoned they were not, in a motorhome too. Were, <laughs> that's what I, I did. Yeah, they were not uh, members of the Kiss army, and uh, you time. know, but there was a certain like joy in seeing their their enthusiasm and, and how they bought into the show when they, when, they, when they saw it. I mean, I'd seen it before, right? It's kind of paid by the numbers. Sure, yeah. But um, 
yeah, it was a big, big deal to me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the best part was, you mentioned that we rented an RV. Yeah. We had a designated driver. He'll be on the video later. He likes hammers or something. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we took uh, White River Amphitheater. Everybody got uh, driven down there. And I, if you go to a big show, that's the way you want to go because you got your own bathroom, got your own kitchen. Just drive by all the commoners and wave. They're all <laughs> jealous. Like, can we get in there? And you're like, no, sorry. It's a 1976 state-of-the-art GMC RV. <laughs> Not come in. That's awesome. You should so, get some passes made that you can hand out yeah. discriminately. Yeah. And I, Motley Crue is fantastic as well. They had a great show. It was basically two full-blown shows. Yeah. Know, so. I've, I've still yet to go to a KISS concert, and I need to. Well, I need to go. Because they're, the tickets were a little more than twenty bucks. They're gonna be right. Gonna, right? Yeah, you weren't gonna do a, it, right? I'm such a cheap bastard. I know. But they're gonna they're gonna do it again until they're like they're ninety, right? Do they right? tour they're regularly? Just keep going. Still? They do. Like yeah, yeah. It's always on the circuit. Well, yeah. I think what's magical about them at this point is that Magic. you know, <laughs> yes, Kiss when they initially came out, it was you know it was the four guys and they were sold as you know Paul, Gene, Peter, and Ace, right? But as it's evolved and members have left, now it's like the faces have become iconic and to. To people my age who have little kids and take them to the KISS show, they don't care if it's the original mm -hmm. guy or not, yeah. right? Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's kind of like going to see Cirque du Soleil or something, right? You don't really, I mean, it's just a, it's a great show whether you really like the music or not. Yeah. That's another debate. But. So yeah. I, got, I got one picture here that I just want to show you. Um, who's that on the right there? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's is that my, you? That is me in seventh grade. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mom spent about three weeks on the costume. Nice. Yeah, the makeup needs a little work still. But uh, <laughs> and then this is my friend Chris. Uh, the chest hair is actually real. <laughs> oh, He's in sixth grade, so he was yeah. He was ahead of his time. But yeah. You know, one thing I noticed about that picture is the size of your hands hasn't changed at all. No, it hasn't. I, guess yeah, I just grew into them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, moving it. on, Brad. Brad. Yeah. What was your favorite thing? Uh, okay, favorite thing of 2012. I, I kind of uh, I had a very uh, kind of a dumbed down year as far as entertainment goes. Just it was more of a consumption year rather than a, a quality you know mm. media project seek out year. But anyway, so uh, um, I really love Borderlands 2. I played the first one, just picked it up uh, this year actually, and, and played it through. It took me a while, so I'm not a very avid gamer. Um, and Borderlands 2 was the first uh, video game that I pre-ordered, which is kind of a testament to my limited geekness. But um, so, anyways, I got that. I <laughs> loved it, and uh, that was probably my shining, you know, entertainment piece of this year. Okay. Um, also, I like the, uh, as I mentioned in the. Uh, commercial segment, the uh, American Horror Story series. Mm -hmm. I just started watching it like two weeks ago, and it's already, it, it, I, I actually have to force myself to take a pause because it's yeah. so chilling, mm -hmm. and it really breaks. Super it, creepy. Really, it, yeah, it totally targets reality in a lot of the supernatural and uh, kind of the mm -hmm. um, fantastical elements, so I, I thought that was a little creepy. You're on season one? Yeah, I've yeah. got I got a couple episodes left. I kind of I, I don't like to break it up too much, so I've been waiting for you know time when my wife and daughter are sound sound asleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just finished that too. I yeah. actually put in my notes that it was my honorable mention for the year. Oh, uh, yeah. Is horse American Horror Story season yeah. one? It's it's amazing, and I really like that they kind of parallel. You have like your supernatural horrors, but yeah. you also have like your reality horrors, like yeah. your husband cheating on you or mm -hmm. something being wrong with your baby. You know, yeah. it's, it's really parallels the whole like. This is an actual physical mm -hmm. like thing that people are afraid of, and then you have your supernatural yeah. ghosts. And, the, oh. and it, it did a good job of, of like targeting um, eras in our in our like last hundred years, mm -hmm. the way they kind of yeah, tied it tied it to a time yeah. frame. Yeah, um, it was really I thought it was really well done with how they um, they tied that into the overall story, season story arc. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Have you seen it, Andrew? I have. Yeah, just started watching it. I'm about uh, ten out of twelve episodes. Yeah, you're yeah. about same down. Same. So it's really really creepy. <clears throat> Definitely. Yeah. I think it's worth watching just for Jessica Lang. I yeah, mean, she's, she's great. She's incredible. Yeah. She's not really an, an actress that I've been aware of in my generation. No. Oh, she was big in the 70s. Yeah, yeah, and I haven't seen her in really hardly anything. Yeah. And she's still gorgeous, and just yeah, her performance did. in that show is is worth watching. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. Definitely cool. a standout performance, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check it out. I, it's a show. That it's I good. It's, a, it's, it's just great. it's just extremely chilling and very, it is a, it's like an old school '70s horror mm -hmm. uh, feeling, you know. Really, there's tons of those me. scenes where they, they got you, and then they pan over, and then there's someone standing right there. They yeah. do that constantly. Yeah, I mean, just, I'm brushing my teeth. I'm always like, Yeah, he's over it, there. <laughs> it, it's the last. It, I can't remember the last time I was that anxious for shots to, to transition. 
mm. if you can kind of mm -hmm. get a sense of that. Yeah. Like waiting for the next cut and like, oh, I don't want to see that really. Yeah. Because I know what it's going to be. I kind of yeah. I kind of squint when something scary is coming up because I don't want my girlfriend <laughs> I, to know that I, I'm scared. You yeah. mean you squint so I don't close my eyes, but I kind of squint so I just barely see like yeah. what's actually happening. I use happening. my Little League baseball hat because it's got a mesh yeah. back. You know, nice. You, right, yeah. Yeah. you know what I heard that you should do if you get scared in a movie is cover your ears. Oh. Because... I don't know what it is, but it's the sound that most people oh, are yeah, afraid yeah, of. Yeah, Less absolutely. Less of the visual, mm -hmm. it's yeah, more of the sound that creeps you out. Definitely. That's you true. get scared, you can always, your ears. Yeah, there's yeah. that startling thing, right? It can mm -hmm. be anything, Mickey Mouse or whatever, but if yeah. there's that heavy doom, you're like, oh, Yeah, and the music right. builds and makes it, that's what makes it suspenseful. It's yeah. like the music so. builds. And, and I hear that the second season is a complete blown up storyline. It's like, it's mm -hmm. gonna be a, um, new actors or some recycled some, actors, yep. but more or less um, not not a, not attached to the first season at all. No, a whole or, new um, story. Yeah, yeah this which one is takes cool. Place in an insane what? asylum as opposed oh, to the house, sounds, the haunted house. That sounds. Dumb. I need to interrupt because yeah. we're running out of time. Yeah, absolutely. But my favorite thing from 2012 what? was the short film. Sorry, <laughs> was the was the short film Paper Man, which appears oh. right before the movie Wreck It Ralph. Mm. Oh. I absolutely loved it. So I mean, it's my favorite thing of the year. Yeah. Um, it reminds me a lot of the movie Up. By Pixar, mm -hmm. you know how in the first five minutes there's that montage sequence of them growing old yeah. together, and there's no dialogue. Yeah. It's all based on animation and music, yeah. and that's what this is. It's all animation. It's actually black and white, 2D mixed with 3D animation, yeah. and very music, no dialogue. It's it's wonderful. It sucked me in. I loved it. Is that Disney? Very, very much. It is Disney mm -hmm. animation. Yeah. So when we come back, we're going to talk about our favorite things or the things that we're looking forward to in 2013 right after this. My favorite thing from 2012 would have to be going to see Iron Maiden live at the White River Amphitheater. My favorite thing from 2012 is uh, the show The League. My favorite thing from 2012 was Rise of the Guardians in theaters. I would have to say the movie The Grey with Liam Neeson. My favorite thing from 2012 was An Awesome Wave, the album by Alt-J. My favorite thing from 2012 was Top Gear UK. And my favorite thing in 2012 was the Bond 50 Blu-ray box set. One thing that really stands out in my mind is the season two of The Walking Dead. My favorite thing from 2012 was the film Killing Them Softly. My favorite thing is Duck Dynasty. My favorite piece of entertainment from 2012 was Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, my favorite thing from 2012 is probably the new show, The Mindy Project on Fox. My favorite thing is Hammers. My favorite thing in 2012 was the movie Ted, because now I want a Thunder Buddy, a.k.a. a teddy bear that talks. All right. Welcome back, and now we're gonna discuss our most anticipated things for 2013. And once again, Sarah, I'm gonna have you kick us off. Thank you. Um, my most anticipated movie for 2013 is Mama. Um, I haven't heard a whole lot about it yet, but it's from uh, executive producer Guillermo del Toro, whom I love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, so awesome. um, I've just seen the preview, and I think it looks eerie and creepy, and the storyline looks amazing. I was researching it last night, and it's actually based off of a three-minute short that the writer um, actually put together. Cool. So it's an expanded story um, from something that was released in 2008, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's my most anticipated movie. I think it looks really creepy, and uh, I'm excited to see this actress, um, Jessica Chastin, who was mm -hmm. in The Help. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. When I saw the preview, I was like, who is that woman? She looks really familiar, but she's the blonde yeah. woman in the help. She's um, been great in pretty much everything yeah, she's she done. Yeah, she does amazing performances. Yeah. yeah, so I'm really looking forward to her being the star of this movie. Is he directing or producing or both? Guillermo del Toro, yeah. just executive producer. Executive producer, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. He, right. yeah, he's one of the few directors that it doesn't matter what he spits out, it's always He worth just puts his touch on it yeah. and it just makes it. I mean, he, he has that yeah. creepy kind of if you ever get a, it's beautiful, everything does yeah, it beautiful. Yeah, research his childhood if you ever get a chance, because he had an interesting upbringing with the way his, his grandma told him like um, fantasy stories and stuff. It, it, it plays a lot into his, his film mm. story choices, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. like Pan's Labyrinth. Right. Um, mixing that kind of a little bit of fantasy with horror, it's really cool. Yeah, really cool. and this feels a little bit reminiscent of The Orphanage <laughs> to me, which yeah. is a movie that I think is amazing oh, as amazing. well. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Comes awesome. out in January. Cool, thank you. I'm looking forward to it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew, what are you looking forward Probably, to? Uh, few things, but one thing that popped up recently is the preview for the new Star Trek movie, mm -hmm. which Into Darkness. Yep, Star Trek Into Darkness. Yeah, it looks uh, 
Looks great. I mean, I thought the last one was amazing. We talked about that on the podcast, and this looks to be more of the same. I'm not sure if it's going to be the whole, you know, Rathacon kind of vibe. They're talking about who the villain is, and if you're into older Star Trek series at all, you know who that is. Um, Still kind of a mystery, isn't it? It hasn't yeah. been released yet, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So. Yeah, so uh, it's coming out in May, and uh, I'll be first in line, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing that's awesome is it has Benedict Cumberpatch now. From yeah. uh, the Sherlock series. Sherlock Holmes, oh, yeah. 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 That's what I yeah. was watching. Over I was from like, that's England. Sherlock. He's, he's yeah. kind of blowing up. With now, a name like that, what else would you be in? Yeah. What's his <laughs> Benedict Cumberpatch. <laughs> 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 it's a very British sounding, it's the most yeah. British sounding name yeah. ever, ever in all of history. It sounds like but, an imaginary uh, character. Yeah, right. They wouldn't yeah. even put that in Harry Potter. It was so. Right, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's being in more movies now, which is great. Um, he's actually in The Hobbit. Um, he wasn't so much in the new one that just came out, but you'll see more of him mm -hmm. in the uh, future films. And then he's also, uh, he did that War Horse movie, the Steven Spielberg War Horse movie last year. Um, he was in there, so he's, he's going to have a successful career, and that's, yeah. that's great because he's awesome. Yeah. Brad, moving well, to you, your most anticipated. Since I haven't heard anything about Transformers 4, <laughs> I'm probably leaning towards, now, this, because I l watch a lot of my stuff after the fact, Netflix, you know, recycle, or at least season old, you know, kind of time frame. Uh, I'm looking forward to the season two of American Horror Story, of course, mm. even though it's being released now. Right. Um, it'll be new for me in uh, 2013. Mm. Yeah, and just <laughs> whenever, whenever Netflix <laughs> decides to release it. Um, and also, uh, I have just started uh, looking into the upcoming release of the new gaming system for uh, Microsoft, the Xbox 720, which I don't know if that's a code name or a Ooh. public name, but I've only seen pictures and just very brief write-ups. There isn't a lot of information, but it could be announced as early as E3, um, which I think is probably what most people are assuming for their big announcement. But right. anyways, um, it's supposed to be, uh, the graphics are supposed to be similar to that of the Avatar film, which is pretty amazing in and of itself. Wow. No matter what the content is, that's yeah. going to be pretty cool. Um, so I'm just, I'm really curious to see if they can actually continue the momentum in that space, which is something they've grabbed, you know, Microsoft as a company, they grabbed and held on to. So I'm curious to see if they can kind of keep setting the pace. I certainly hope so. Yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite games for the three? Well, obviously I like Borderlands 2, yeah. Borderlands series. Um, I don't, I try not to play a lot of, uh, graphic games just because I don't have the time or luxury to do it around my family but mm -hmm. so I play a lot of the EA sports games mm -hmm. stuff I can sit down for an hour and just kill time you know right. debrief for the day whatever FIFA Tiger Woods Madden the typical um, games and then I'll mix in a little bit of something else every now and again yeah I don't do a lot of story rich games because I just don't have the time like I used to when I used to you know pause the game turn off the TV go to bed wake up unpause keep playing <laughs> sure yeah, you know yeah. back in the you know <laughs> middle school days right um, so uh, I, I shy away from those which is too bad because there's a lot of really cool I have geez I have fable halo uh, well I have like oh. five series that I yeah. haven't started because they're so um, you know the, the story is so rich and takes um, so long to learn but. what about Halo 4 um, um, is that just I haven't played it yet but uh, I'm not an online online player so I'm a little bit hesitant to get in involved in games that are really kind of uh, claim to be more of that than uh, just a campaign right. playing game. So I still have Halo Reach, which I play every once in a while if I want to do the Halo things. Yeah. Did either of you play Halo 4? I did. No. Yeah, all the way through. Did you like it? I thought it was great. Because this is the first time that Microsoft kind of, they, they took it from Bungie, right? They did. So Essentially, it was yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Uh, very similar to, I mean, obviously similarities, but it was a whole lot of fun, man. It's a good game. Yeah. So I play it with my uh, girlfriend's daughter. It's something we have in common. Mm -hmm. So you know, That's awesome. it's funny because a lot of a lot of yeah, girls yeah. don't like video games, right? And they're like, you, you play and they're like, oh, what are you doing? And you're like, I'm playing a game, and you feel kind of guilty, so you should put it down. Right. right? <laughs> but now that we're playing together, it's like, hey, we're doing something together, right? So we're uh, bonding. So you know, it works. I cannot wait until my daughters can play video games. Yeah. And I'm gonna get them into gaming. Mm. They're gonna be awesome. Uh, we they're got cool girls. we got our cool daughter girls. the Just Dance for kids, and it's actually pretty cool. Mm. Or the connect. Is that connect? Do you, not do for you me, it? but it's cool. Oh, okay. If you want to, not unless you want to do five little monkeys jumping on the bed for three hours straight. Uh, really? That's one of the songs? Yes. Oh my gosh. It's, that would be awful. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. Yeah. All right, so, so what I'm looking forward to the most in 2013 is a TV show, actually. I think, oh no, you already mentioned a TV show. But my thing that I'm looking forward to. I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to this too. Is Arrested Development? Oh, oh. Yes. coming back from cancelization. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the series from yeah. cancellation. Cancelization. 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 
Um, <laughs> Coined, right? Yeah. I like yeah. that word. Yeah. Cancelization. Cancelization. It's, yes. it's an Andrew word. <laughs> um, yeah, they're coming back um, after being canceled off of yeah. Fox, and Netflix is going to have it, and I think it's great. I mean, it's my favorite TV show yeah, of show. all time. It's really Of great. all time. And so for it to come back, I mean, it can't not be my favorite thing. You know, How many seasons did it actually? Three. Three. It had three, three? three seasons. Yeah. And, and it was never was highly like, rated, or was it? It was Crit highly rated, and it won and it won Emmys. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but just Fox just up. could not sell it, mm -hmm. and it didn't become super popular until the DVDs. You know, yeah. it's very people funny. could watch it. Yeah, right. you it's know, really I'm funny. obviously keeping my expectations a little low mm -hmm. because, you know, with with uh, shows getting canceled and coming back, there's not always a guarantee that it's going to be mm -hmm. as good. Yeah. Um, Family Guy is a mm -hmm. great example of that. I loved Family Guy the beginning of it, and then when it came back after cancel. A cancellation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the word. That's the real word. Um, <laughs> when it came back, it, it was good for a little bit, and then it just kind of got old. Spiraled, yeah. yeah, and I don't really know what happened if they just couldn't get the same writers or what. But um, it just wasn't as good. But, Do you know if they're getting the same writers? Yeah, as far as I know, they've gotten a lot of the same writers. Oh, good. Um, but the other thing I'm, I'm worried about is that the creator, Mike Hurwitz, he has obviously done other projects in between the cancellation and now, and he, I think he's done two series, mm -hmm. and they have not been good. Ooh. They they got canceled, you know, really? like after a few episodes. And so I'm like, is this guy, you know, just is a... Is he involved in the... Yeah, yeah, of okay. course, yeah, he's involved, and uh, I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of worried about it, but not overly worried. Yeah. I think, I think it'll still be good. And a positive thing to say about it is that, you know, Netflix, um, you know, revamped the show, and I think they were going to do 10 episodes, and they were so happy with the footage that they were seeing that they are adding like three or four more episodes. Oh, wow. So well, that's a good sign. It's a very yeah. good sign. So it's going, to be, um, it's going to be proprietary to the Netflix brand? Yeah. Yeah, you can only get it on Netflix cool. streaming. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think they're Except going to be Except on doing... Christmas when you can't watch it at all. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Down. Yeah, you can't watch anything. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. Netflix or, kind of went down. On it was down? Oh, yeah. see, I didn't even know. It worked on my computer, but not on my TV. But then I checked the news stories and they said that the servers were yeah, super, okay. super slow. Still love it. That's bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still love my Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> Free subscriptions. We like it. Um, hmm. But yeah, it, and what's also going to be cool about it is that they're not releasing weekly episodes. Mm -hmm. It's They're like just going to spit them all out oh, at once. Nice. So cool. you can have an Arrested Development party yeah. if you want oh, and just cool. like go Five through yeah. all whatever 14, yeah. 13, 14 episodes that you want. I think uh, I think it'll be pretty good. I'm I just recently rewatched all the episodes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I could watch. They're them so great. Over they're, you know, they're over twenty again. minutes yeah. or so. You just yeah, put right. them on when you're cooking or whatever, and they're just so funny. That's right. So funny. Yeah. Okay, so when we come back, I got a special topic, and it's related to zombies. So stay with us. <laughs> and the thing I'm most looking forward to in 2013 is Monsters Incorporated 2. And I'm looking forward to more Top Gear UK in 2013. Uh, second half of Breaking Bad, and then the next season of Spartacus. I'm looking forward to the remake of Evil Dead. <laughs> what I'm looking forward to the most in 2013, the new Star Trek, baby. Yeah! The thing I'm looking forward to most is, I'm crossing my fingers for this, but a season two of Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. 2013, I'll probably say, uh, what was it, third or fourth season of Game of Thrones. The thing that I'm looking forward to the most in 2013 would be the Seattle Seahawks winning a Super Bowl. And we are back. I want to thank everyone for participating in those videos that you saw during the commercial breaks. Really good sports for being on video. I know that some people get a little nervous about that, but we're not nervous about not at all. <laughs> recording live, so <laughs> they should not be nervous. Anyway, so now let's discuss zombies, and specifically, I wanted to bring up the Seattle Zombie Walk, which one of nice. my guest hosts has been to, Sarah. <laughs> really quick, do you want to tell everyone in like one or two sentences what the Seattle Zombie Walk is all about? Oh, sure. So, um, I believe I've done the Zombie Walk for three years in a row, and basically what it is is the attempt for Seattle to win the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest uh, zombie walk. Mm -hmm. So everyone assembles in Fremont uh, at the Outdoor Movie Theater, and uh, it's fun. They have food, and they have contests for best costume. Everybody dresses up like a zombie, and then uh, you, know, you have to get registered, and then you do the whole walk. And um, I think we made... 
Brad, you might know better than I. Uh, I think we got the record, and then like New it, Jersey stole it from us. Oh, Jersey. It keeps getting broken. Yeah, like, like we keep making it, and then summer. it will get. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the yeah. record, and then the, somebody will break it, and then we'll get it again. And so yeah. it's kind of just a fun thing to do in mm -hmm. the middle of the summer to get dressed up like a zombie and wander yep. around Fremont nice. like you're crazy. Yeah, no, totally. How many years have you done it now? I think I've done it three years. Yeah. Okay. Three years have you been? Uh, no, I've been part of the coordination uh, on um, my outfit, the the haunted attraction I work with. Uh, we've coordinated side efforts with in tandem with the event, mm -hmm. and we do work with the uh, the event uh, coordinator um, on other side projects. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're involved, but I haven't been to the actual event. Nice. Okay, so I have some pictures here, and uh, uh, Sarah, I admit I stole them off of your Facebook. So oh no! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh, looks what's, delicious. What's happening there? Okay, um, so that's a Jello brain that I made, I mean, and nice. uh, we were gonna eat those. them. Yeah. We were gonna eat them at the fair, but it was too hot, and they just kept melting. So I decided to just eat it in my kitchen. Um, that's pretty gnarly. How'd you do? Is that gash like something that you just paste on, or was that no? Was I that made makeup? it actually. Wow. Yeah. I thought that was something you would buy in the store. Pretty, no. Pretty yeah, I actually yeah. made that by myself. That's really good. Thanks. That's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of the funnest part of it. Is just getting dressed up and yeah. and putting your costume yeah. together. It's really fun. This year we were um, Sounders fans. Oh, so yeah. Oh, so Sounders fans. Yeah. So I have another picture here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this year we were um, Disneyland. Oh, the theme was Disney, and so we were Disneyland tourists this year that uh, got eaten. And I loved that I got my boyfriend in a terrible Mickey Mouse shirt. And uh, yeah, so is the theme fun. universal throughout the whole walk, or is it just your your theme? It's just kind of yeah. It was it was universal through the whole walk. Okay. So you saw a lot of people there in Disney outfits. So like Disney princesses. Yeah, were like exactly. Zombies. Like you had like Ariel that, would be that was awesome. all zombified, cool. and yeah. you I should take my daughter and just totally freak yeah. her out. She'd yeah. be like done. I, I'm not I watching believe Disney the anymore. I believe the contest winner uh, this year, last year, was uh, Mr. Rogers Zombie. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, actually, I met him at, at our attraction this year. He, he was he was touting <laughs> yeah. his award. Hello, I've neighbor. Seen, <laughs> yeah. I've seen Where's Waldo zombies. Uh, I've seen Jesus zombies. I've seen Stormtrooper zombies. And people get really creative. It's wow. really fun. Yeah, that's right. the best part is just walking around and seeing everybody's costumes. I have that's another cool. picture here. Oh, no. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's my... That's your dog. <laughs> zombie is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> dog zombie. It does. Um, it does. Uh, <laughs> It does spread down. What is he eating? Well, so this was the year we went as Sounders fans, okay. and uh, we got a, um, a severed hand and taped it to a ball. So it was a handball, and um, mm. <laughs> that Clever. was our nice. little, our <laughs> little awesome. gag walking around. And uh, yeah, he decided that that actually ended up being his toy, and he's completely oh my destroyed goodness. it. I just loved watching my dog eat a hand, which is, I think is weird. Probably not the sure. best thing to teach your dog. Yeah. He just made this hand. I'm, um, I won't pet him. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. He loved his his handball. So. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is just a picture of some of the people that mm -hmm. you might see. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's down Fremont Street, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is where they do yep. this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's pretty gnarly. I that's I, I want to go there sometime and just take photos, um, like this. Mm -hmm. Just really nice photos of yeah. the zombies. I think it would be a pretty darn freaky. It's really cool. It's yeah. fun. If you ever get a chance to do it, yeah. definitely go out. Do you stay in character the entire time, or do you break? Uh, I break character. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. yeah. I'm mostly in character during the walk. Right, yeah, sure. Okay, but, so what is, what is your zombie walk? What's your zombie walk like? Oh, like do you? I have a pretty good shuffle. Can you show us? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so show us. I think for a zombie walk, you gotta you gotta put your foot in. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you gotta twist. It's more about like the twist and the drag, you know. Where you that's pretty, drag, good. pretty good, yeah. and then I always my thing is you always gotta like go after people. <laughs> like on the side on the side of the streets, are there just normal people there? Spectating? Oh yeah, yeah yeah, and people at restaurants like eating on the deck and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And my favorite thing is when I leave, I like to kind of go out the car window at cars next to us. So, cause they they're not around where you are. So right. you're leaving and you're full in your zombie <laughs> outfit. So, nice. um, I harassed one of those ducks, the ducks, uh, awesome. big wagons. Yeah, yeah, the right <laughs> harassed side of them deck. and uh, several people in their car. See, I think if I did it, I would have a pretty normal walk. No, you gotta have. This is how I normally walk, shuffle. by the way. You I just go like this. Drag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I I think I would do like the dragging of the foot mm -hmm. and the and the hunched. And do you guys make sounds too? Like, yeah. Rrr. oh yeah, nice. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> All right. Well, that is going to do it for us on the very first video podcast episode. I want to thank you for watching. Thanks to my guest hosts so much for being here and taking the time to be here. 
And thanks to the people behind the cameras, we got Ryan and right. Crispin back there working the magic. Thank you so much. If you want to let us know how we're doing, you can comment on facebook.com slash friends or twitter.com slash friends. For now, we are out of here. Thank you so very much.